Alright, so, um, I'm probably not going to redo this series, um, simply because I pretty much showed you how to do Diplomatic Victory. The only other difference being that there's actually a third tier tenant in Freedom that allows you to gain plus four influence per turn with this city state you have a trade route with. If you get that, that's good. I don't know if Order or Talks actually have them, because, or a influence tenant because I never go them but um another thing is it, entering if you get globalization then when you put a diplomat in a another person's capital then you get a I think it's one vote maybe two I don't know but I think I did that in the Shaka series so um what's it called I did standard that took forever Jeez, that was hard to believe it was only standard why did I... Oh, I started on tiny, then I did small, and standard. Yeah, that took a while, but I think that's a good amount. I might bump it up to immortal, but... Because I've beaten Emperor multiple times, just not recorded, and I haven't really tried immortal yet. I think I'll just... I want to beat it once... Wait, technically, was that... No, I think that was on King, that I played the Shaka series. Yeah, so I'll just... I'll beat it once on Emperor if this series, uh, if I beat it, then I'll move up to Immortal. Probably not Deity, because the jump from Immortal to Deity is like basically the highest jump in terms of difficulty, or at least, at the very least, it's more than Emperor to Immortal. So yeah, I think I'm going to keep the map size standard, um, because small was, there's a significant time difference, and I'm not willing to jump it up even more. That could also create some complications if, let's say, an AI just, like, conquers all its neighbors. That could be a problem. Maybe, potentially on... Well, not on Emperor, really, but if this were, like, Immortal Deity, it could be a potentially unstoppable threat. And I actually want a chance at winning, so... Yeah, same types, just the only difference being... There actually is no difference, but... The difference will be the Civ I get. Oh, I got a Dido, which... Now, um, Dido isn't exact... And Dido of Carthage isn't exactly a good sieve. I mean, the Kin Kirims are a pretty nice trireme replacement, which I suppose I could make use of that early game. The African Force Elf, and I don't even know what their place is. It's... Free, um, free harbors are nice. Units may cross mountains are also nice, but it's not really... How would I put it? It's basically giving the same mechanics of the helicopter gunship to all units. It's more of a gimmick, I think that's the correct word, rather than a legit ability. Alright, this is a archipelago. Thank God it's a Pangea, not an archipelago map. I think my last two have been archipelago, but yeah. Well, I suppose Dido would actually be better for archipelago, but yeah. Alright, like so. I'd be able to cross that. Wow, that was quick runes. Alright. Should I move? If I move, I won't get coast. I suppose I could move on to the hill. It would also get the mountain, but I suppose I should have just, I should have checked there, but I'll just do what I normally do and settle on spot. It's not the best, but it's just, I think I said this during my first series in multiplayer, I always go random and I always immediately settle so people aren't able to see which civ I am. Which tower will I expand to first? The marble, so we're gonna want to get masonry, and uh, yeah, we'll just see how this series goes. I think I said last time that I'll go for a different dip victory, or I'll show like a military victory. I think I said, Wow, another ruin that's a And I think I said I might try out a different social policy opener, but I don't think I will. I think I'll just go for 
the only R1 is domination, and that's very similar to science. You just tech up to, like, certain units, mainly XCOMs. You can pretty much, if you get enough out, you'll be able to, and if you get them before anyone else has a significant unit to defend, then they're really effective. My brain's a bit confused right now. Oh, did I turn off auto -return? I'll leave single player off for multiplayer on. Oh, wow, I found Pocatello. Pocatello. I, uh, he's not exactly the best neighbor to have, mainly because. Oh frick, I don't want that. I want a worker first. My standard build. Ooh, I found a safe state. It's interesting. I never could really I assume the borders are have some sort sort of significance. And they have the zero day potency. It's interesting. Oh yeah, you see. I should have moved here, I would have gotten a bonus pearl. I mean, it's. I haven't really explored to the left, but. Oh, wow, I found a Luru. I'll probably want to get a city there, but I'm not sure how close it is to Pocatello. Pocat I have no clue which one it is. I'll just say Pocatello. Oh, wow, Narcy State right next to it. Florence. Oh wow, an RCC. This would actually be a good city location. I'm thinking here. It will have hill, river, two pearls, sheep, wheat, salt, and then the Aluru, most importantly. Wait, my city's gone. I don't wanna. <sighs> Trespassing in Florence. I'm well aware of that. So that's pretty close to Pocatello. It'll pretty much be we'll only be able to sell one city in between us. He already is writing, that's fine, but I don't really want to give him that give him an MC. I mean you should kinda know where my capital is. Because I'm pretty sure he's the one who found me, but. Ooh, there's a city state down here. There's like. Just city states. On this one. The Standard has 16 save states, if I'm correct. Then again, that's assuming I am correct. So. Is this coast? Yeah. So you must be on like a peninsula. Alright, so let's uh, get a farm while we wait. One turn of farm while I wait for masonry to finish. Now we can get our settler. I can just bring my scout back as an escort. Trespassing in Panama. Again, I'm well aware of that. Alright, so. Research. It's going to be sailing next. There's a ruin, and there's the encampment as well. And there's the Vatican City. Hopefully Sidon doesn't grab a Luru before. I am able to. Let's grab tradition like I have been.
Pantheon founded. Gossip protection, that's a popular one among city-states. I wouldn't say it's necessarily a good one, but nonetheless. Panama City under attack. Yeah, I saw the barbarian camps. Alright, research. Sailing. Let's get a quarry on uh, this one. If I get a pantheon, it will probably be uh, stone circles. One more faith. It's, I'm very disappointed. Alright, so I haven't really exactly explored any of this upper area, so I actually think what I'm going to do is get a shrine so I can get my faith and then send my scout up there. Because right now I don't see any other good areas to sell besides here. Oh, I have to wait a turn. Down here isn't really a good area, or at least I wouldn't deem it a good area. So let's move. Pocatello might grab that spot. It would be a pretty damn shame if he did. Darn. Shouldn't cuss. Nice. So yeah, I'm thinking this would be the exact spot. Alright, so I can still grab this spot. Probably want to be more uh, discreet because I'm pretty sure he's going to notice that or something along those lines. And he has a that's on the spot I want. So, is that barbarian? It's an archer. Very unfortunate. Because it's probably going to pillage my marble. Choose production. We're going to want a workboat next. Choose research. What else do we want? We're probably going to want animal husbandry to see horses or stone circles alright I might be able to I'll probably get a religion in this game I think with that plus Uluru unless the city state somehow gets it before I do which would be very disappointing yep It pillaged my uh, marble. It's quite a shame. But, um, yeah, I can tell uh, me and Pocatello, I don't see a bright future for us. I saved up my gold so I can purchase the tile. Yep, nine faith per turn. Not bad. No. 
the city state might produce a worker but I'm still gonna get one of my own and uh, yeah that's the uh, that's the 15 minute mark I'm just using the warrior to explore down here a bit should probably buy that tile too. Nah, this tile isn't really under threat. He can he can't even settle like some random city in between my two. There's not enough room. Yep, that's it for today. Uh, tomorrow's video will be um probably early. I said this one would be, but I lied. So tomorrow's will be, and then uh. Tomorrow it is then.